Okay, everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're on page 11, which is the last in the series because page 12 came right after page 1. So those are the two pages in the series that are the same. All other pages are different. So we're going to put a horizontal pocket on the bottom. It's 4.5 by 9. 4.5 by 9, you're going to score a half inch on three sides. And then we're going to apply the pocket to the very bottom of the page. And this is just going to be a pocket um, with lots of inserts. So it's a very simple page. And then the next time we get together, we're going to be installing all the pages in the book. And I did lose one of the recordings, unfortunately. So I'm going to go back over um, the details just by walking you through the page. I think it's page eight that's missing. I feel terrible about that, but sometimes um, I think I hit the record and I, I, I can't see it from where I'm sitting. Someday I'll have enough time to use the technology that's available, but right now I always feel like I'm under pressure to get a project out and I can't spend the time to figure some things out. So it's one or the other. So. This is from the 12 by 12 uh, collection, and we're just going to cut the pattern in half and apply these. <clears throat> so one to the pocket and one to the top, and I was just um, marrying these two up to see how the pattern fell. Oops, I thought it went that way. Maybe it doesn't. Hmm. That doesn't look right either. Maybe there's another piece that I'm not looking at. I thought it was just an extension of one piece, but it's all the periods, I think. I'm just going to say it's possible. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's this one. No. That's not right either. I sure thought it was an extension of the same sheet. but it does not appear to be. So there's a break in between. <clears throat> hmm. How about that? Either way, we're just going to, it was meant to be a continuous pattern. That's too big. That's just right, which makes me think. <clears throat> But I did have it right. Just, no, nope, they don't match up. So there it is. Sorry about that. <clears throat> We're getting so close. Like I said, the next thing is going to be putting the pages in. I'm not going to do that on video. I've done it many, many times before. If you're uncomfortable with it, um, you can look at several videos to, to see it, but also on the base albums, all the base album builds, I show you how to install a pocket page uh, that's undecorated. And then I go on to say, don't install them until you've decorated them because it's easier to work on a flat surface. <clears throat> you can do it, but it's easier to work on a flat surface. So I don't recommend installing them in the base build. Um, I think this one's a little bit bigger. Let's see. Yeah, there's this tiny bit. <clears throat> As usual, if you go to the description and click on show more, the first thing you're going to see is the material list 
the materialist primarily is made up of the designer paper. I do talk about some of the cardstock and chipboard, but it's mostly about um, the designer paper. Um, lots of people have sources for chipboard and cardstock. Um, we, we also sell it, but it is definitely a big box item. So we carry it only out of necessity because I think you can get it cheaper just about anywhere else. But we do have a few customers that just don't have craft stores anywhere near them. So they can't even get that. So we will ship that to them. Um, <clears throat> after that, you'll see the cut list, which talks about the cut list. Um, once you, when you're in the walkthrough, and you're looking at each of the individual pages. The cut list is about the interactive elements on the page. The cut list for the base album is part of the base video. So um, in order to make it efficient for myself and to keep these free, um, I created base album builds with their cut list that I can use over and over again. So the base album can be found in the playlist, it will have one cut list and then the videos associated with a particular paper line, those will be in the playlist under their title name, Stamperia, in this case, Stamperia Perfume. So base album builds will all, always be called that base album build. So that gives you the cover, the spine, the hinge and the pocket pages. So that's how to get the most value out of our videos. And that is page 11. Yay. And I think I'm going to put something here on the bottom. I just don't know what yet. Um, that's page 11 of 12 for this album. So I'm just going to wrap that up. Next time we get together, we'll be doing a walkthrough.